Well, it is Saturday, April 11th, and um, last week it was in the 90s, and now this morning, and yesterday morning there was a frost freeze. Crazy weather. But anyway, we ordered some spruce trees. Um, last year we had a bunch of loblollies that we put in, and um, we're hoping that the deer were going to leave them alone like everybody says they do, but obviously our deer like them. So... We're going to try, not a mass quantity, but we have a bunch of spruce trees that we ordered. We have three different kinds. Uh, there's Black Hills, White, and Norway. And we only got 15 of each. And we're just going to use them here on the Illinois farm and um, plant them around some strategic areas. They look like they're about, I don't know, two, two and a half feet tall. The deer usually don't eat spruce, but... I guess we'll find out. <laughs> they do come in these nice little pots already. So all I'm doing is just sorting them, getting them ready. And uh, so we can do this as a tag team and get them in the ground pretty quick. And get them growing. Hey guys, Camper here. And today on the weekend we're going to plant some new trees. Um, for our farm we had about 30 acres of crop field. We took it out of cash crops and we converted it to a wildlife uh, conservation plan. So part of that plan is adding new cover and we got three different kind of spruce. They're deer resistant. We got uh, Black Hills, Colorado and white spruce. So we're going to mix them around the farm and we also enjoy spruce. So we want to add, you know, some spruce around the farm because they are very pretty. So. Let's get some trees in the ground. I'm also dipping the bottom of the pot. Make sure the whole thing gets water. You know, sometimes it'll just run off the top. Depending on the type of soil they put in. All right, one down. How many to go? 400. Oh, sounds familiar. Oh, my back hurts, so you're going to have to finish these now. So you're going to have to hold my camera. I could do that. Okay, so this whole area right here where you see the brown grass, that's all warm season cave and rock switchgrass. But we also planted four and five foot white pines last year and we also planted loblolly pines. It's kind of a plan A, B, C, and D. A is a switchgrass if it takes. If the switchgrass doesn't take, it's going to become natural regen. And we supplemented that with these white pines you could see sticking up. But unfortunately, the deer just clobbered the white pines. They rubbed every single one of them. They rubbed the bark completely off. So I don't think many are going to survive. So that's kind of why we're adding some spruce into the mix. So we've got warm season grass, spruce, and there's a bunch of loblollies in here that are still alive, even though they've been eaten down. Because the loblollies will grow back even if deer eat them virtually all the way down so we're just kind of adding to this plan and speaking of natural region a lot of people don't necessarily like it but you got to keep in mind deer will literally eat over 400 species of plants so in a natural region area there's still plenty of browse for them in there even though we consider a lot of it weeds this patch right here, I had planted loblollies in last year, 
And yeah, the deer did nibble on them, but they are still alive. So we're going to just add a few of the spruce to fill in some of the gaps. And that'll help close off that food plot and bring a little bit more life. So we think the loblollies will be okay once they can uh, get a little bit faster than the deer can eat them. So this is a look at the large brown area that the uh, drone was flying over. We're working in right now. There are quite a few loblollies that we are finding, like you can see this one here, that have survived and they do have uh, new shoots coming on them. The white pines, as I mentioned, I think those are toast. I don't think many are going to survive, but between the loblollies and then now we're going to add probably about 20 of these spruce in here. We're hoping it can kind of just break up the terrain a little and add a little diversity um, to this particular block of what's going to be new cover. It's almost like a night of hard party and look at all the empties laying around in here. A lot of empties. Okay, so this is the second to last spot. We're planting like four different areas. And let me show you on our, our big map where this is. This is a new cover area that's going to kind of separate this field and cut it in half. So if you look up here, this native warm season grasses, that's where, uh, that's where we're planting a batch of these uh, spruce trees to add into this cover. So the last tree planting spot is across the pond. We're just putting four in for kind of decoration and birds. But we put these two maples here. Unfortunately, we lost that one there that we just cut off. But we just planted four of them here, kind of to make it a little pretty spot with some spruce. Uh, we do miss the spruce from living up north. Those things are beautiful. So we've got a nice open fishing spot here, nice picnic spot, so hopefully 
these will take and it'll be really pretty.